Usually, your professional archaeologists with their fancy university degrees overlook some unusual and provocative artifacts that amateur yet skilled archaeologists like me find so incredibly fascinating. For example, you can find amazing finds right in your own backyard. Come on, come on. This may look like an ordinary ping-pong ball to you, but this one hatched. You know, it's illegal to sell fertile ping-pong balls in this country. Now, whoever sold this one had a massive disregard for human safety. You see, they really aren't ping-pong balls. What they are are ping-pong eggs. The ping is the female, the pong is the male. Back in the Long Ting dynasty, it was a patriarchal society, and they were then called pong ping balls. But then in, uh, a, a female ping took over in the um, Wang Bang dynasty. Did you hear that? I don't want any wild little pings and pongs running around in my backyard. Uh, when they found out what people were doing with their eggs, well, furious is too mild a word. <laughs> Maybe I'm just being paranoid. Uh, ooh, look. This is? This is the skull of a ping or a paw. You notice the big eyes? They're very handy for night hunting. Uh, now this is my reconstruction of what it must have looked like when it was alive. Oh my, look. Oh my. Ooh, look at this. This looks like almost a complete skeleton. Ah, ha, ha. Ooh, look at this. See this? This, to me, looks like the remains of some royal garment. Now, if this is true, this is not just any Pong. This is King Pong. Perhaps he came here searching for the royal egg and died, gave his life in the process. How sad. So you see, you can have magic right in your own backyard. Hey, if you're lucky, maybe you'll find some eggs too, like a golf uh, or a, a base. Maybe a tennis. I just hope you don't find any hatched baskets. Uh, so let, let, let me just say in... Oh, F, never mind.